15 shocking ways Biden's 2025 tax plan could impact your wallet. I've been following these proposals closely and I'm here to break them down for you in a way that's both informative and engaging. So grab a Seymour and settle in as we explore the 15 must-know facts about Biden's tax plan. 1. Cracking down on tax dodgers Picture a group of wealthy individuals sitting in a luxurious boardroom sipping expensive cognac and puffing on cigars. They're discussing how to avoid paying their fair share of taxes using complex loopholes and offshore accounts. It's a scene that's all too familiar, but Biden's plan aims to change that. The proposal includes a significant increase in funding for the IRS, allowing them to hire more agents and modernize their technology. With these resources, the IRS will be better equipped to investigate and prosecute high-income tax evaders ensuring that everyone pays what they owe. Imagine the surprise on the faces of those wealthy tax dodgers when they realize that their days of exploiting loopholes are numbered. It's a step towards a fairer tax system, where everyone plays by the same rules. 2. Higher tax rates for high rollers Picture a glittering Hollywood party where celebrities and business tycoons rub elbows and sip champagne. They're the epitome of wealth and success, but under Biden's plan, they might have to pay a bit more in taxes. The proposal aims to raise the top individual income tax rate from 37% to 39.6% for those earning over $400,000 single or $450,000 married. It's a small increase, but it could make a big difference in terms of revenue and fairness. Imagine a successful CEO, let's call her Emily, who earns $500,000 a year. Under the current tax system, she pays a 37% rate on the portion of her income over $523,600. With Biden's plan, she would pay the 39.6% rate on the portion of her income over $400,000. It's a modest increase but it ensures that those who have benefited the most from our economy also contribute their fair share. 3. Pumping up Medicare Picture a retired couple, John and Mary, sitting in their cozy living room, surrounded by family photos and memories. They've worked hard all their lives and are now relying on Medicare to cover their healthcare expenses. Biden's plan proposes to increase the Medicare tax rate from 3.8% to 5% for those earning over $400,000. This extra revenue will help keep Medicare solvent and ensure that seniors like John and Mary can continue to receive the care they need. Imagine a successful surgeon, Dr. Patel, who earns $600,000 a year. Under Biden's plan, he would pay the additional 1.2% Medicare tax on the portion of his income over $400,000. It's a small sacrifice for someone in his position, but it could make a world of difference for seniors who depend on Medicare. 4. Boosting the child tax credit picture a young family, the Johnsons, sitting around their kitchen table trying to balance their budget. They have two young children, and the costs of childcare, diapers, and baby formula are adding up quickly. Biden's plan aims to provide relief for families like the Johnsons by increasing the child tax credit. The proposal would raise the credit to $3,600 for children under 6 and $3,000 for children ages 6 to 17. It's a significant boost that could help families cover the costs of raising children. Imagine the Johnsons receiving a monthly child tax credit payment, allowing them to afford better childcare options and provide more opportunities for their kids. It's a policy that recognizes the importance of investing in the next generation and supporting working families. 5. Helping low-income workers picture a single mother, Maria, working long hours at a fast food restaurant to support her two children. Despite her hard work, she struggles to make ends meet and often has to choose between paying rent and putting food on the table. Biden's plan proposes to expand the Earned Income Tax Credit, EITC, which provides a boost to low-income workers. The expansion would increase the credit for workers without children and make it available to more people, including those over 65. Imagine Maria receiving a larger EITC refund, allowing her to catch up on bills and provide a better life for her children. It's a policy that rewards hard work and helps lift families out of poverty. 6. Closing the crypto loophole picture a group of tech-savvy investors huddled around their computer screens trading cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're taking advantage of a loophole that allows them to avoid paying taxes on their gains. 
Biden's plan seeks to close this loophole by treating cryptocurrencies like other financial assets. Under the proposal, investors would no longer be able to use wash sales to avoid taxes. A wash sale occurs when an investor sells a cryptocurrency at a loss and then immediately buys it back, allowing them to claim a tax deduction while still holding the asset. Imagine the surprise on the faces of those crypto investors when they realize that they'll have to pay taxes on their gains, just like everyone else. It's a step towards fairness and ensures that the tax code keeps up with the evolving world of digital assets. 7. Shaking up real estate investing Picture a wealthy real estate investor, Mr. Thompson, sitting in his high-rise office overlooking the city skyline. He's been using a tax break called the 1031 exchange to defer paying taxes on his property sales for years. Biden's plan aims to eliminate the 1031 exchange for real estate investors, requiring them the same as those who invest in other assets like stocks or bonds. Imagine Mr. Thompson's surprise when he learns that he'll have to pay taxes on his real estate gains just like everyone else. It's a policy that promotes fairness and can help generate additional revenue for important government programs. 8. Making the wealthy pay their fair share picture a billionaire CEO Ms. Johnson sitting in her private jet sipping a glass of champagne. She's been taking advantage of loopholes and lower tax rates on her investment income for years, allowing her to pay a lower effective tax rate than many middle-class Americans. Biden's plan seeks to address this inequality by raising the capital gains tax rate for those earning over $1 million. Under the proposal, wealthy investors would pay a tax rate of 39.6% on their investment gains, closer to the rate that many Americans pay on their earned income. Imagine Ms. Johnson's surprise when she learns that she'll have to pay a higher tax rate on her investment gains. It's a policy that ensures that the wealthiest Americans contribute their fair share and helps to reduce income inequality. 9. Closing the step-up loophole picture a wealthy family, the Wilsons gathered in a lavish boardroom discussing their estate planning. They've been taking advantage of a loophole called the step-up in basis that allows them to avoid paying taxes on the appreciation of their assets when they're passed down to the next generation. Biden's plan aims to close this loophole by requiring heirs to pay taxes on the full gain of inherited assets when they're sold. This change would ensure that wealthy families pay their fair share and generate additional revenue for important government programs. Imagine the surprise on the faces of the Wilson heirs when they learn that they'll have to pay taxes on the full gain of their inherited assets. It's a policy that promotes fairness and helps to level the playing field for all Americans. 10. Making big business pay a picture a massive corporation, Ask Me Inc., with gleaming headquarters in a major city. They've been using loopholes and offshore tax havens to avoid paying their fair share of taxes for years, while still benefiting from American infrastructure and services. Biden's plan seeks to make big businesses like Acme Inc. pay their fair share by raising the corporate tax rate from 21% to 28%. The proposal also aims to close loopholes that allow companies to shift profits overseas and impose a minimum tax on corporations with book profits of $100 million or more. Imagine the surprise on the faces of Acme Inc.'s executives when they learn that they'll have to pay a higher tax rate and won't be able to avoid taxes through loopholes. It's a policy that ensures that big businesses contribute to the country that has enabled their success. 11. Leveling the global playing field picture, a group of world leaders sitting around a large conference table discussing global tax policy. They're working to address the problem of multinational corporations shifting profits to low-tax countries to avoid paying taxes. Biden's plan supports the implementation of a global minimum tax rate, which would ensure that corporations pay a minimum tax rate regardless of where they operate. This policy would help to level the playing field and prevent a race to the bottom in corporate tax rates. Imagine the surprise on the faces of multinational CEOs when they learn that they'll have to pay a minimum tax rate no matter where they operate. It's a policy that promotes fairness and cooperation among nations in an increasingly globalized economy. 12. Building a better America picture a crumbling bridge, potholes in the roads, and an outdated electrical grid. America's infrastructure is in desperate need of repair and modernization, and Biden's tax plan aims to address this issue. The proposal seeks to use the additional revenue generated by tax changes to fund a wide range of infrastructure projects. 
This includes repairing roads and bridges, upgrading public transportation, improving water systems, and expanding broadband access. Imagine a construction worker, Mike, who has been struggling to find steady work. With the new infrastructure projects funded by Biden's plan, Mike is able to secure a well-paying job helping to rebuild America's crumbling infrastructure. It's a policy that creates jobs, stimulates the economy, and helps to build a better future for all Americans. 13. Investing in education and childcare. Picture a young couple, Sarah and David, sitting at their kitchen table surrounded by bills and bank statements. They're trying to figure out how to afford quality childcare for their infant daughter while also saving for her future education. Biden's plan seeks to use tax revenue to make significant investments in education and childcare. This includes providing universal pre-kindergarten for three and four-year-olds, increasing funding for childcare subsidies, and making community college tuition free for two years. Imagine Sarah and David's relief when they learn that they'll have access to affordable, high-quality childcare and that their daughter will be able to attend pre-kindergarten and community college without incurring crippling debt. It's a policy that invests in the future of American families and helps to create a more educated and productive workforce. 14. Strengthening Healthcare Picture an elderly couple, Robert and Elizabeth, sitting in their doctor's office anxiously reviewing their medical bills. They're struggling to afford the cost of their prescription medications and are worried about how they'll pay for future medical expenses. Biden's plan aims to use tax revenue to strengthen and expand healthcare coverage. This includes expanding Medicare coverage to include dental, vision, and hearing benefits, as well as lowering the eligibility age to 60. The proposal also seeks to strengthen the Affordable Care Act ACA, by increasing premium subsidies and providing a public health insurance option. Imagine Robert and Elizabeth's relief when they learn that they'll have access to more comprehensive Medicare coverage and that their children and grandchildren will have access to affordable health insurance through the ACA. It's a policy that recognizes health care as a fundamental right and helps to ensure that all Americans can access the care they need. 15. The Road Ahead Picture a winding road stretching out towards the horizon. This road represents the path that Biden's tax proposals must take to become law, and it's a journey that will be filled with twists, turns, and obstacles. The proposals will need to pass through both houses of Congress, where they'll face scrutiny, debate, and potential modifications. Lawmakers from both parties will have to work together to find common ground and craft legislation that can garner enough support to pass. Imagine a heated debate on the Senate floor, with senators passionately arguing for and against the various provisions of the tax plan. It's a process that requires compromise, negotiation, and a willingness to put the needs of the American people first. As the debate unfolds, picture everyday Americans like you and me watching closely and making our voices heard. We have the power to shape the outcome of this legislation by contacting our representatives, participating in public discourse, and advocating for the changes we believe in. The road ahead may be long and challenging, but at the end of it lies the potential for a fairer, more equitable, and more prosperous America. It's a journey that we must take together, armed with knowledge, compassion, and a commitment to building a better future for all. In conclusion, Joe Biden's 2025 tax proposals represent a significant shift in the way we think about taxes and their role in shaping our society. By understanding the key components of the plan and how they could impact our lives, we can engage in meaningful discussions and work towards a tax system that promotes fairness, invests in our future, and helps to build a stronger, more united America. As we continue to navigate the complexities of tax policy and economic reform, it's crucial that we remain informed, engaged, and open to new ideas. We must be willing to listen to one another, find common ground, and work together to create a brighter tomorrow for ourselves and future generations.